Okay, today we have a 2019 Hilux 2.8 that we're going to be installing Unichip on. Okay, here the Unichip is installed now. So this is the Unichip Q4. Uh, this is the wiring that's installed to the harness of the ECU, which is this bunch of rainbow wires over here. This is the actual vehicle ECU. It's behind the glove compartment. So it's out of sight. Nobody will see it. Nobody will know it's there unless you tell them. Uh, just to quickly explain what these things do. These wires, wire to the ECU, this controls both fuel, boost, and then uh, injection timing this small socket over here wires into the pedal so this serves as the throttle controller to get rid of the throttle delayed that's present on pretty much any car so once all of this done this goes here to the back this goes back here finish <laughs> nobody knows it's there Q4. So we'll briefly run down the features of the Unichip Q4 and what it does and why does it make power. So we'll start with your basic diesel engine. We have four cylinders. You have your intake here. You have your turbocharger here. You have the injectors coming here. And this is the fuel rail. This thing's the injector. Uh, boost is here. intake diesel engines are simple they need two things they need air they need fuel add more air add more fuel power goes up very simple there's no spark plugs in diesels may nagtatanong niyan saan yung spark plug dito wala diesel yan ganun ba oo ganun Air is controlled by how much boost and this is controlled by the turbocharger. Boost is pressure. Fueling is controlled by three things particularly in a diesel engine. Uh, of course it comes from the <laughs> fuel tank. And this is controlled by the ECU. So from the fuel tank, it travels down to the fuel pump. There's two pumps in the Fortuner, a uh, normal fuel pump and a high pressure fuel pump. So there's two of it, high pressure pump. This fuel pump is the round thing there on the engine where there's a little button here that you make pindut pindut to prime it. Then the high pressure pump is a camshaft pump that's belt driven along with the engine so from this high pressure pump it now goes to the fuel rail uh, this is where the term crdi comes from which means common rail direct inject why common rail so this is because the rail is common to all four. There's four metal tubes here, and this goes to the injector. Four injectors. All the fuel goes in here. Because once upon a time, injection pumps have four individual lines going out to each of the individual injectors. And this is where this the mechanical pump. Wala na to ngayon, no more. This is the new system. And then from the fuel rail, it down goes down to the injector itself. On the fuel rail, you have a fuel rail here. There is a thing here called a fuel pressure 
sensor. So this is 0 to 5 volts. Uh, for, all, for simplification purposes, the higher the voltage, the higher the fuel pressure. So what unit chip controls is basically these three things. Boost pressure, number one, number two, and number three. If you have the injector driver. This is where all the fueling comes from, from the engine. Okay, on a side note here, there's another thing here called a mass airflow sensor. This is a lateral. This tells us how much air goes in. So also a zero to five volt signal. So higher the voltage, more air, which means computer will give more fuel. So unit chip controls this one. So let's put this a two A. Because it's not really directly related to fuel control per se. So on our Hilux, we will be installing the Q4 that does this one and this one. So higher boost means more air going in. Remember our dive, what we said, air and fuel. This takes care of the more air. This takes care of the more fuel. Well, this and this takes care of the more fuel part. And typically, we see around that's your typical increase for a 2.8 Hilux. And aside from that, there's also no more delay in the throttle. We're getting rid of that also. We're done with the Hilux tune and then here's what we got. Uh, in stock form, it made 170 horses to the wheel, which is typical of an automatic 2.8 Hilux. We've seen that time and time again. So it's anywhere from 170 to 180. So that's very, very typical and very, very normal. So with just the unit chip, we got a maximum of 210 horses. So peak to peak, it's 40 horses. But the maximum gain we got is 55 horse here at 25 RPM. Let's put that there. So from 148 to 205. So, mababang RPM, malakas yung sibat. But the better story is the torque here. From a stock of 311, it now goes up to 425, so 100 foot pounds more. For those of you who want to convert this to Newton meters, uh, just multiply everything by two. So it's an even bigger and more impressive number. And what ha as you can see here, another one, we achieved our peak power a lot earlier at 28 RPM instead of 3, 3, 2 RPM, full 500 RPM earlier than stock. So yes, malakas sumibat in short. <laughs> now let's go for a test drive. Let's go. 
Pakalit. Dito sa atin, ang bago na. Todo na ba yung kanina? Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Todo mo. Todo mo. Yung mga bata kasi baka bigyan yung tumawin. Okay. Ang pa. Oh, betul tak? Oh, cepat ikut. Ayo, pada na. Ada na. Bayat na, bayat na. Malakas na eh. Ganun lang, pagkulang na, sabay mo ito at saka yung injector driver para mas ramdam. Ganda yung kinomit na parang sa kanya. Hindi rin. Hindi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 